everybody. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you my method of making a wood spatula in the wood lathe. I'll take you through the steps of cutting out some blanks using this template which is 14 and a quarter by 3 down at this end. It's a template that I keep falling back on. I have others, but I like to use this one. And my intentions are a spatula that's shaped mostly for uh, stir frying, uh, maybe using in a wok or a frying pan. You could flip eggs with it. I give it a fair amount of curve so it has a fair amount of clearance when you're working on a, a griddle or grill or frying pan or whatever. I try to do most the complete shaping with a small spindle roughing gouge. I try to get a uniform cut with no humps and bumps. The benefit of the small spindle roughing gouge is it takes a little crescent shaped shaving and um, it's easy to get a straight line with and then I follow it up with a skew. I start at this end and come down with a finish cut and I do the best I can. This length is going to pose some vibration. I don't go through heroic efforts to, to brace it. Uh, I give it some hand support. I go for it. If I don't get it completely smooth in there, I remain optimistic and do a little sanding. But really, uh, not that much sanding involved except where I shape this on the 60 grit belt and stationary belt sander. Uh, it's very quick. It does leave deep sanding marks. So I follow up with 120 and 180. And then you'll see in the video, I completely submerge these in water to fully raise the grain and subject to, uh, you know, extremely wet conditions. And I final sand with 240. Sometimes I go a little finer in the area that I use a wood burner to sign. Uh, I will sand it down to a finer grit and uh, oil them and it's ready. It's an easy project. It is basic spindle project. You're turning a little bit of air, which is just the next level of a spindle uh, project. Uh, it's quick to do. I want to share with you my method. Without any delay, let's get started. Well, I've rounded up some boards. This is a board from my sawmill. I did not pay any particular attention to it after I saw it. It just stood under my carport for about three years. This side was on the ground right here. And it's not really a very good board for doing what I want to do. But the grain is such that uh, I need straight grain for the handle. Here's a pretty good selection right through here. I'll get one like this. like this probably not seeing that too many knots this grain is not suitable Here's a board that's pretty straight grain. I'll just make one that's a little shorter. I'll take these over to the bandsaw and cut them out.
I'm hitting right here with 400 where I'm going to sign my name. And if you saw my spoon video, what I do is I take this small ellipse and I roll it instead of dead center, I roll it downhill a little bit on the handle because I'm going to use that little ellipse as a guide where I sign. And I'm going to sign on top of the ellipse on the top with my name and then inside the ellipse with my geographic area which is Priest Lake. So I'm using a Burn Master 2 by Master Carver with an old, um, I forget the name of these, I don't think they're made anymore, fine tip. Send the pencil line off, and there you have it. Well, that's it for this video. I enjoyed making a batch of these, and you end up getting some spindle practice utilizing material that was otherwise destined for firewood and you end up with a product that you can actually sell. So in closing I'll focus you down on the the finished batch and um, if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and see you on the next one.